Nancy here. It is June 1, 2020, and it's 6.46 in the morning. I just wanted to show you really quickly what I'm going to be doing with these little tiny tomatoes that I bought last month. And uh, I bought so many, and I can't eat them too fast. Like I don't, I haven't been eating them that fast. And and um, since I'm the only one here right now, uh, I think I bought, I think maybe they're too many for me. So I don't want them to go bad. So I, I, I did some research on the internet to see how you can preserve tomatoes. Like if you can freeze them, I'm sure you can. But I just wanted to know. I wanted to know how to freeze them the right way if you can freeze them. So then yesterday I got on the internet and I saw that you can freeze them. You can freeze them cooked or un, you know just raw, like uncooked. And so I'm just going to freeze them uncooked because I don't cook the tomatoes before I I store them. I just um, I mean before like I what I meant to say was I don't cook tomatoes and then put them away. I just use them at the time that I'm going to use them. Okay, so. These ones here are little tiny ones. Hold on a minute, let me see if I'm... Okay, I'm just trying to see if you can see the camera. I mean, if you can see the tomatoes, okay. <laughs> this is... Okay, that's the plastic. Okay, yeah. So I've already done some over here. I've already wrapped some up. I have, some, I have wrapped some up already. Okay, over here. And so I'm going to wrap them up some more. I just want to show you quickly plastic. Plastic. Oops. Yes, and then in the information that I I found, they said that you can you can um, freeze them whole, like, you know, whole, or you can cut them, but I would rather freeze them whole. Yep. And the reason why I am freezing, like, why, why I am select, like, the reason why I'm selecting a few to put in the plastic instead of, like, a lot is because I'm not going to be using that many every time I'm going to... Like whenever I want to use some, I, I don't use a lot of tomatoes. I just use a little bit. But if I'm going to make a big, big, big soup, I just... I'll just grab like maybe three of, of, three of these and put them in the soup. You understand? So like you o whenever you freeze something, you only freeze small amounts so that you don't have to defrost a whole bunch. And then, you know, that's not good to refreeze but I think I learned that you can refreeze things like things that are not too not too dangerous like vegetables and and fruits but you, you should never refreeze meat that's what I learned you don't free you don't refreeze meat that's no good yeah so you don't refreeze meat yep and after this I'm oops uh, there's not enough plastic there after this, I'm going to be freezing, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be removing the juice from lemons, and I'm going to be freezing the lemon juice. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. Okay, guys, so, um, now you, you know how to, <laughs> you know how to. Package up your little tomatoes, and if they're like, if you have the the large tomatoes, the big ones, just wrap one, wrap one tomato with plastic. One at, wrap them one at a time. Okay, just wrap them up one at a time because you don't want to be wrapping up two tomatoes at a time or three because it's going to be difficult for you to wrap them up. So just wrap them up. If they're the large tomatoes, wrap them up one at a time. Okay. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to place them, I'm going to place them in a bag like this, a freezer bag. Make sure that when you buy the, the bags in the store, they say freezer bags because the freezer bags are made to withstand the cold. If you get a regular bag, 
called a storage storage plastic bag. They still work, but they they're not they weren't made to withstand the cold, so they're going to tear. But if you're going to be, um, they're still good for like the the regular storage bags are still good for storing things like this because this is not going to leak, right? They, these are just like their whole it's a whole food it's a food that is not mushy or anything like that and like for example if you're going to be putting soup in a, a regular storage bag not a good idea because that bag is going to tear and then if it tears before the soup is frozen your freezer is going to get all messy but even if the if the soup freezes before the the bag tears it's still going to be yucky because the 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 bag is going to tear and when you remove the the bag your your hands going to get kind of greasy from the you know the food that that is kind of sticking through the bag through the tear okay guys so make sure it's a it's a proper well when it comes to freezing things like that are not going to leak it's okay to use i guess it's okay to use the regular storage bag if you don't have access to freezer bags but freezer bags are you know they're they're better okay guys um i guess that's it so i'm gonna come back and show you how to freeze the lemon juice okay guys thanks for coming don't forget to subscribe click the bell guys because when you if you click the bell you will be notified for each time that i upload a video okay guys i love you ciao ciao